Why is the narcissist happy with the new supply? Let's talk about the narcissist and the new supply. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic people in your life, from narcissists in your life, and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. New supply. Here's the thing, you guys. The narcissist is not happy. What the narcissist is doing is living through yet another idealization phase with someone new. They literally are grooming a new supply to take the place of the supply they just discarded or to be a supplement, right, if they're cheating, to the supply they already have at home. They are literally grooming this person. They are not happy. They are presenting as happy because what they're full of is an ego trip. What they're full of is the dynamic of how amazing they feel about themselves, about how they can make somebody else adore them. They can create a situation where this new supply believes they are amazing. So they're not actually happy. What they're doing is an ego trip, okay? It is a supply fill. They're being so pumped full of supply by this new person because there is no friction yet. There is no mask coming off and that person seeing the reality. So the narcissistic person will use this new person. They will groom the new supply. They will do the exact things they did with you or different things that suit that particular person because what they're doing while they're grooming is their little antenna are out there trying to pick up every piece of information about that person so that the grooming process is easy for them. So they, oh, you like scuba diving? Let's go scuba diving. Oh, you like that? Oh, I'm so interested in that, right? So whatever it is, they're doing that with that person. On the outside, to us, to anyone watching, it looks like they found the love of their life. It looks like they are happier than they've ever been. But they did this to you, okay? And they're doing it again. This is how a narcissist pulls people in to their world. So the new supply believes that they have found someone amazing. They most likely believe that the love bombing is real. They most likely think that this person is telling the truth and that what they're seeing is an amazing thing. Okay, they are not sitting there going, oh, I'm being groomed now. No, it's not how it works. They are under the spell of the narcissist's charm or the narcissist's lies that are being told to them. They're under the spell of the future faking and the idealization. But the thing is, you cannot see what goes on behind closed doors. We don't know how long it's going to last, okay? It may last a while. If you have a covert narcissist, it can last years to some degree, right? But behind closed doors, that's when the toxic manipulation begins. That's where it starts. It generally doesn't start out in public and exposed to all and guaranteed they're going to keep it off social media and they're going to keep it away from people who talk to you because they need you to believe they can go on without you. They are so happy. They're amazing. See, it's so much better. Oh, poor you. Are you sad? I'm not sad. Well, it seems like you just can't get over things, right? So they need you to, you to believe that everything is amazing and they're going to set it up so that's the case because remember not only are they taking supply from this new supply they're sending their fishing hook back to pull more supply from you and if you are upset about it if you see them happy if you believe that this is an amazing thing for them then they get supply knowing it hurts you. This is a predatory means of survival for a narcissistic person because a narcissist cannot survive without the supply, not really. They shrivel into a narcissistic meltdown where they get bitter and angry and rageful and start pulling supply from everywhere they can get it. A narcissistic person needs their ego to be boosted by other people. It's a form of validation that is very toxic and manipulating. And it is an absolute survival technique for the narcissistic person. So they are out there getting new supply because they can't handle it on their own. Another thing though is a narcissistic person truly doesn't believe they were ever the problem. Because they lack empathy, they think you're the one who was so dramatic and such a problem and became so difficult for them. You just were too diff. I don't know. The relationship just broke down because they were just so difficult. They were so upset all the time. They were difficult for no reason. I don't quite know why. Then maybe they're crazy, right? Or, or they, they have emotional problems or they're too sensitive or whatever it is. So remember that they don't have empathy. They don't care. If thinking about the past relationship, they're not going to take any accountability. So 
why not be happy with this amazing person who's right in front of me that is my new supply that is going to do everything I say and think I'm amazing and give me all the feedback that I need to see about how great I am, right? So that's kind of how they're thinking. Hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this one on this channel. Let's keep going now with more about new supply. Just briefly, I want to just end here with saying that if you are hurting right now because you see the narcissist happy in a new relationship with what looks like a new person, remember this is recycling. This is how they act. This is about them. And I know it hurts. And I know that understanding this information is only so helpful because most likely you're still trauma bonded and you're still dealing with the pain and, and the emotions that you have about the situation. So that's where to begin. Start focusing on you. Stop looking at the new supply information. Stop listening when friends tell you. Stop watching through social media. It really is about you finding focus in your life for yourself so that you can heal from these trauma bonds and you can see the reality of what I'm talking about here and how the narcissist is in relationships and get free from it for your life, okay? My name is Lise Colucci again, and if you need help with coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the main description of every video. And you guys, I'll be back next time with more.